Welcome to China Connect. Your fun guide to real China. Explore and uncover its intriguing stories. Let's go. Today, we're diving into a topic that is not only fascinating, but as explosive as a blockbuster movie coming to life. It's more thrilling than any action sequence, and more awe-inspiring than the most breathtaking special effects. Remember the Chinese sci-fi sensation, Wandering Earth 2, that set ablaze cinemas during the Spring Festival? The film that made us sit on the edge of our seats, our eyes glued to the screen as it unveiled a world of nuclear fusion. Well, folks, those unforgettable scenes, as fantastical as they may have seemed, are inching closer towards becoming a reality, in a recent revelation that would make even the most hardened skeptics sit up and take notice, we learned that China's new generation, Artificial Sun, also known as the HL-2M Takamak, has made significant scientific progress. This breakthrough is not just a monumental achievement for China, but it represents a quantum leap for all of mankind in our ongoing quest to solve the looming energy crisis. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not just talking about a milestone in a movie plotline here, but a significant real-world milestone in China's nuclear fusion energy development. Let's take a moment to really unpack this. The HL-2M Takamak has, for the first time, achieved high confinement mode operation under a plasma current of 1 million amperes. This is a record-breaking feat that signifies China's magnetic confinement fusion research is taking a giant stride towards high-performance fusion plasma operation. This achievement has broken through key technical problems such as control of large current high confinement mode operation of plasma, injection coupling of high power heating systems, and control of advanced diverter configuration. To put it in simpler terms, this is like running a marathon with hurdles and coming out on top. Or for our tech enthusiasts, it's like cracking a code that's more complicated than the most difficult Sudoku puzzle on the planet. The China National Nuclear Corporation CNNC, the powerhouse behind this operation, explains that controllable nuclear fusion is an essential part of China's nuclear energy development strategy. Imagine a three-legged race, with the thermal pile, fast pile, fusion pile being the three legs. This development is not just another leg in the race, but a significant stride that is key to solving the country's energy needs. Assisting in achieving the dual carbon goal, promoting the construction of a new energy system and ensuring national energy security, according to nuclear power experts, controllable nuclear fusion is the ultimate dream of mankind in the pursuit of infinite energy. This is a scientific problem that global scientists have been brainstorming and experimenting on for decades. It's like the Mount Everest of scientific challenges, challenging, but not insurmountable. The significant scientific progress of the new generation, artificial sun, the HL-2M Takamak, is an important step towards fusion ignition. The development of controllable nuclear fusion, as mentioned in the movie Wandering Earth 2, is now on the fast track. It's as if the train has left the station and is speeding towards its destination. The prediction is that in about 30 years, fusion energy should be commercially viable. But what does this actually mean for us, the average person going about their daily life? What's the value of controllable nuclear fusion to human society? after successful commercialization. Well, according to Zhang Wool from the Southwest Physics Research Institute of CNNC, controllable nuclear fusion, as a frontier disruptive technology facing national major demands, has abundant resources, is environmentally friendly, and inherently safe. It's one of the important ways known to mankind to ultimately solve the energy problem. It's like finding the golden ticket to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory of abundant energy, not only that, but it also has significant strategic significance for China's economic and social development and defense industry construction. It's like finding a secret weapon or a superpower that can potentially change the course of the country's future. Chinese Academy of Engineering Academician and Tsinghua University Professor of Chemical Engineering, Jin Yong, went on to illustrate the application prospects of this key technology. 
He stated that the energy produced by deuterium extracted from a liter of seawater is equivalent to 300 liters of diesel. If nuclear fusion is successful, mankind will have an energy source equivalent to 300 times the ocean's diesel, solving the energy shortage problem. Moreover, nuclear fusion does not produce nuclear waste, so the successful commercial operation of nuclear fusion power stations will create an inexhaustible and renewable energy source for mankind. Imagine, it's like having an everlasting fuel tank that never runs out. So, cinemagoers and science enthusiasts, it's time to exchange your popcorn for a lab coat, because the future of energy as depicted in Wandering Earth 2 is fast becoming a reality. The quest for limitless, clean, and safe energy is no longer a dream, but a mission that China is determined to accomplish. This isn't just a mission for China, but for all of humanity. The ripples of this achievement will be felt across the globe, consider the implications of this for a moment. At present, our world runs on fossil fuels coal, oil, and natural gas. These resources are finite and their extraction and consumption lead to environmental degradation and climate change. Nuclear fusion, on the other hand, promises a clean, safe, and virtually limitless source of energy. The fuel for fusion comes from water, an abundant resource on our planet. The potential for this technology to revolutionize our energy systems is truly staggering. As we move towards the future, the importance of groundbreaking research and developments like this cannot be overstated. Energy is the lifeblood of our civilizations. It powers our homes, our industries, our transportation, and virtually every aspect of our modern lives. As our populations grow and our economies develop, the demand for energy is only going to increase. Nuclear fusion, if successful, could meet this demand in a sustainable way. It could provide the power we need without the harmful emissions that come from burning fossil fuels. It could provide energy security for countries that currently depend on imports to meet their energy needs. And it could provide the energy needed to further develop and advance our technologies, taking us to the next level of human progress. Let's go back to the movie. Wandering Earth 2. The film shows us a world where nuclear fusion powers our cities, our vehicles, and even our spaceships. It's a world where energy is clean, safe, and abundant. It's a world where the energy crisis is a thing of the past. This might seem like a far-off future, a fantasy even. But with the progress being made by the HL, 2M Takamak, and the dedicated scientists and engineers working on it, this future is closer than we might think. It's not a question of if, but when. And when it happens, it will be a game-changer for all of humanity. In conclusion, the breakthroughs achieved by the HL-2M Takamak are not just significant for China, but for the whole world. It marks a significant step forward in our quest for a clean, safe, and abundant source of energy. It brings us one step closer to the world depicted in Wandering Earth 2, a world powered by nuclear fusion. Thanks for joining our China journey. Like, comment, share and subscribe for more. Drop your questions or ideas below. Let's keep exploring this fascinating nation together. See you in the next video.